Hello and welcome to the Crucible of Dreams. Which two players will be doing this famous walk on Sunday, the May the 5th? Well, we don't know yet because we're still in the second round stage. But we do know six of the eight quarter finalists now. And this afternoon here at the Crucible of Dreams, there was an epic between Barry Hawkins and Karen Wilson. Karen Wilson is nicknamed the Warrior and he had to battle back twice to get his place in the quarterfinals. Obviously trying to hold on um, right away throughout and um, yeah, got a few kicks in the teeth along the way but just remained positive and um, stuck to my guns and you know, managed to pit Barry in the end there. Karen Wilson will play Dave Gilbert and of course Dave Gilbert knocked out Mark Williams, the reigning champion. Remember last year, Mark Williams did a press conference just wearing a towel. Well, ironically... It's for Full Monty, which is their first event after the Fred World Snooker Championship, but there'll be no Full Monty from Mark Williams this year. Right, so that's Karen Wilson versus David Gilbert. That's quarterfinal number one. Quarterfinal number two is going to be one of these two men. This is going to be so tight tonight. John Higgins won it four times. Stuart Bingham won it once. And they will play Neil Robertson, a 2010 winner. And Neil Robertson, so far, is probably playing the best snooker of this year's tournament? I feel probably better than I ever have done coming into this tournament for sure, winning the China Open, um, you know, six finals, winning, winning three major tournaments. Um, I think I'm playing the game in a really positive manner. Uh, the crowd really seem to be enjoying you know, every session I play. So um, I think when you just focus on trying to play well and, and try to entertain the crowd then I think, and, and not worry about the results, then you know, it makes you very dangerous. This is table one, however, over here on table two this afternoon, Ali Carter put in a superb performance. At one stage yesterday, he was 5-1 down. But Ali Carter, who's lost in the final twice, is in to the quarters. And he'll play Gary Wilson. So we're guaranteed at least one qualifier in the semis. Oh, it was a tough match. Very tough from start to finish. You know, his all-round game is superb. Um, had me in all sorts of trouble. And I think in the end, it was only my experience that told. And I had to call on all of that to get through that match. Um, obviously delighted to be in another court final and um, you know hopefully I'm not done yet. The Champions League may get the headlines this week but this is a Champions League fixture. This is round two Judd Trump versus Ding Junhui. This could go all the way and the winner of this plays probably the luckiest man still in the tournament Steve Maguire. Two deciders two, two matches I could have lost easily but I'm still in it. Oh, listen, I had to hold my hands up. I was going out there. Um, my cue action just went to bits. I just didn't believe I could put a ball in the end. Um, and then I'd, somehow I've mustered up a decent last frame. I've potted a couple of good, good shots into the middle, especially. And uh, I don't know where that one came from. So the quarterfinals are battled out on Tuesday and Wednesday. And on Wednesday evening, we'll know the four semi-finalists of the Betfred World Snooker Championship. And then this fabulous auditorium, this unique auditorium, goes to one table. And for many, when we get to one table, that's when the Betfred World Snooker Championship properly starts. Can't wait, it's only day 10. We finish on Monday, the 6th of May, which is a bank holiday. And I'm banking on an absolute classic.